advanced mobile broadband networks uh, for each country. Um, this will be collected from the administrative data, so asking operators directly what is the coverage of your, if you have any advanced mobile broadband network in your country, over population, uh, clearly. There was a lot, of, a lot of interest as well in picking up as well the usage of these advanced mobile broadband networks. And since usage may be a bit more complex to collect, uh, because an activity criterion should be in, we uh, open the discussion in the online forum and with the aim as well of collecting this data of usage of advanced mobile broadband networks uh, soon. Hmm? So I, I invite everybody to participate in this. There was as well an advance, a real advance uh, done in bundles. Bundling has become, as I was saying before, really prevalent all across the world, basically, in mobile networks, in fixed networks, and now together mobile and fixed, and with content and with other services. So bundling really, later we'll be hearing um, on this, uh, is really prevalent. It is very important to measure this as best as we can. Now, with the bundling, there were uh, of course, there is always a lot of discussion of what a bundle is and how the categories are and the classification. And here, basically, we agreed on one very uh, nice definition of bundling that will be helpful to all of us, which is a bundle is understood that includes two or more services out of the five basic services that we are all talking about, which is fixed voice, mobile voice, fixed broadband, mobile broadband, and pay TV services these five basic elements and any combination of them. So a bundle includes two or more of these basic services. Then a bundle, in order to be considered as that, should be marketed commercially as a single offer, at a single price, at a single invoice, for the set of services included in the bundle. Mm. And then the bundle, in order to really be a bundle, should be uh, something better than contracting the services on a standalone basis. So these are the three uh, stones uh, that, that form the definition of a bundle, and from here on, also, um, from here on, it was it was agreed to collect from now on the bundles um, in the the, the ba three type of specific bundles in the market. You know that one of the problems with the bundles is the fact that you have many combinations of these five basic services and you can be collecting huge amount of data. So we ended up concluding that the best would be for a start to collect three type of bundles that are very relevant are the mode bundles in many, many, many countries. Probably not in all of them, but in many. And the three bundles that will be collected based on subscriptions will be mobile voice together with mobile broadband or mobile data one. The second one will be, which is very uh, spread as well, fixed broadband together with fixed telephony. And the third one that will be collected is the fixed telephony, fixed broadband and pay TV services. So these are the three type of specific, very concrete bundles that will be collected from now on based on subscriptions. The good news is that uh, the bundle one, mobile voice together with mobile broadband, is already being collected in the mobile broadband definitions that were introduced years ago already in the ITU long question. Okay. And of course, there was some discussion uh, that, you know, I will make it very brief on uh, the bundle services will be counted in the bundle category. And as well, of course, if I have a fixed broadband connection together with a fixed telephony connection, okay, of course, this will be counted as well when we are asked on number of fixed broadband connections. So this was on the bundling. Um, there was, uh, in, in order to wrap up, we also agreed to delete, delete to discontinue uh, uh, the collection of several indicators, which are the ones that I present here, and to add, as I was explaining now, new indicators in the collection, in the periodic collection. The indicators uh, proposed to discontinue the collection and the benchmarking at the international level are the ones that I listed here, which is the percentage of fixed telephone subscriptions in urban areas, or the percentage of localities with telephone service, the fixed uh, wired internet subscriptions, this is basically related to narrow band because, of course, broadband indicators are being collected. Domestic internet bandwidth, 
um, percentage of fixed telephony faults clear in the next day or just over the year, number of complaints, at SMS at the international level and voice over IP in terms of traffic, in terms of minutes, which was difficult to collect and not really comparable across countries. This, for the indicators that were uh, agreed to discontinue the collection, uh, as well to, to discontinue on revenue from fixed telephony, the revenue split by detail from lease line or uh, investment in a specific service. Um, and the lease line, as I was saying before, subscription-based data and revenues-based data. Okay? And now, the, the contrary is that to start collecting this set of new indicators with uh, some definitions attached, which is the fixed broadband subscriptions for public and private organizations, as a new indicator, a new indicator as well on M2M subscriptions, the refined indicator on lead or equipped international internet bandwidth, then the improvement made, uh, which is a long way forward on bundles, subscriptions to fixed broadband and fixed telephony as a bundle, as well as subscriptions to fixed broadband, fixed telephony and pay TV as a bundle, and then as well the coverage of LTE or advanced mobile networks over the population uh, for each country. These were the, the, um, the new indicators agreed. Um, uh, lastly, uh, there was also a, a discussion on the IDI index, on the uh, development index, uh, that was discussed together with the uh, expert groups on households. Uh, and in particular, we were talking uh, on two points to, to improve upon, which is the feasibility of producing an indicator on unique mobile usage. Mm? And here is where a lot of complementarities exist between uh, household type of data and administrative type of data. And the proposal by the UNESCO and Institute of Statistics to improve the development uh, skills sub-index. Mm. So I also invite everybody to participate in the online forum on this. And lastly, also, we concluded on topics for future discussion. Mm which is one of them, and is very important, is the fact that the ITU handbook, which is extremely useful for all of us, the handbook for the collection of administrative data dates, the definitions and the methodologies dates on 2011. And it is probably the time to uh, reviewing it. So one of the aims of this e next year will be the revision of the, some definitions and, and uh, content of the uh, ITU handbook for the collection of data. Now, a very important topic uh, for all of us will be the additional sources for administrative data. There is a lot of discussion on big data, on new players, and how to collect evidence on how these new players, new services that go over the internet, like the over-the-top type of providers, how they are responding and what kind of presence and penetration they do have. So there is an uh, open debate on how to uh, measure and how to attack this. Now, uh, there, uh, there will be, there is an indicator on fixed broadband services in public and private organizations. This is a carryover. Most probably it will demand as well our participation in the discussion because most probably the, the, the line, the, the distinction between public, private organizations and residential segment for certain type of firms is not that clear. So it probably will be needed some additional discussion. As well, um, the discussion uh, which is very relevant is on the subcategories of mobile broadband. Mobile broadband is the service that is growing at most all over the world. And uh, there is probably a need to uh, fine tune the subcategories, not the total, but the subcategories of mobile broadband in order to really measure it properly. And then uh, there is the, the very clear interest, it, it was uh, uh, agreed in the, in the Geneva meeting in September, on subscription activity uh, in the, uh, indicators on advanced mobile networks like LTE. This was a very clear interest and uh, the discussion is proposed to be opened up and really to try to conclude soon on some indicator for this activity. So thank you, this was the, the result. Thank you. Thank you so much, Inigo, for very 
impressive and interesting and comprehensive presentation. I would like to note that uh, activity of ECTI in 2004 was unprecedented on online forum and uh, on the face-to-face -face, uh, meeting in Geneva, what we had, and my congratulations. Um, uh, let's move to the second presentation. Let me introduce Mr. Bogdan Vasilescu, Head of Statistical Data Unit of National Authority of for Management and Regulation and Communications of Romania. Mr. Vasilescu is involved in various areas such as statistical reporting, market research surveys, data analysis and reports, market analysis uh, for regulatory purposes, international roaming, as well as related international activities. Mr. Vasilescu, the floor is yours. Thank you, Rati. Um, I'll make a short presentation about uh, data collection on bundles and on multiple services uh, in, uh, in Romania. Um, well, let's start with the uh, with concept. What does the end user want? He wants, of course, multiple chocolates uh, packed together, preferably for a lower price. Um, but is this a bundle of services where uh, they seem quite tied as well? Well, uh, and um, going to the um, elec to the telecom services, the end user wants uh, fixed telephony. He wants uh, fixed broadband, uh, mobile broadband, mobile telephony, and uh, subscription TV as well, preferably from uh, a single operator. Um, we discovered. There's a necessity, necessity for uh, for evidence from from market studies, from end user surveys, uh, periodically run by Ancom. Um, there's a growing importance of uh, these uh, five services uh, being bought or purchased uh, as bundles or as tied services, both in the case of uh, residential and business customers. And um, we also uh, discovered more and more operators uh, offering uh, bundled services. In this, uh, in this case, uh, it appeared uh, there is a strong need for official statistics from, uh, from the regulator, uh, both for, uh, for reporting uh, to national and international institutions, to journalists and uh, to, op to operators themselves, but also for market analysis purposes, which is the most uh, important task uh, in a regulator. This is the evidence from end user surveys uh, run by Ancom some years ago. Um, we asked about uh, uh, these services uh, being purchased uh, together from, uh, from the same operator. Uh, you can see in all, uh, in all, case, in all four cases, because uh, back then uh, mobile internet, in, it wasn't that important as it is today, but it's a growing importance in, uh, in all cases. Um, we also ask about uh, the main reasons for uh, purchasing bundled services. Ordinary SIM card for your voice communication. You walk into the mobile money agent shop of your choice. Of course, in the way it is in Uganda at the moment, if you buy an MTN SIM card, then you walk to a mobile money agent for MTN. Then they will register you for mobile money services. Very few things they do and then your phone will be accessing uh, mobile money services. It will be uploaded. As simple as that, quite simple a process. The next question is talking about uh, regulations. Is there any special regulations for the telcos who are operating mobile money services? 
Your concern is Zita only the central bank of the country responsible for regulating them, or the communication industry, I mean the regulatory industry for communications is also giving them some special uh, regulation. Uh, during my presentation, I said the two institutions are working hand in hand to ensure that there is one common regulatory system for them. The, the Uganda Communication Commission is concerned with the platform, real time in the business. That's their focus. And then the issue of controlling the money is on the side of the Central Bank of Uganda. But since this business uh, seems to draw attention of two regulators, the two regulators have chosen to work together to have a common regulatory system that the MNOs must abide by for them to run the service for the sake of customer satisfaction. So we do not have a special regulation for them and the bank again, the central bank again having a special one for them. We are working for one as a, a, a common service for, for them, no special regulation for them. The first question was, uh, still about regulation, that who is in charge of the regulation? Same answer, both institutions are in charge of the regulation at the moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. <coughs> and uh, I'd like to give you, uh, please, uh, Mr. Vasilescu, and please be sh very short, if it's possible. I will surely be short. Um, well, regarding the, the decision uh, on uh, either if households are uh, in urban or, or rural areas, well, all uh, households belong to a certain locality, and uh, these localities are uh, situated either in urban area or in rural areas. Uh, based on the definitions of the National Statistical uh, Office, and the uh, operators are using uh, these definitions. Regarding um, the data collection system, um, the, operator, the operators themselves uh, insert the data in the, in the system based on a uh, an user and, and, uh, and the password, or either by uh, uh, logging in uh, by using a uh, valid electronic certifi certificate and um, after filling the data they must uh, electronically sign all this data through PDF or Excel forms. Yeah, Of course this is a, could be a whole new presentation but uh, on a short this is the answer. Thank you. Uh, I'm very sorry, but we are absolutely out of out of time. And uh, please ask your questions on our online forum, and we'll be we'll do our best to answer your questions. And uh, now, uh, let me make some conclusions and remarks for our summary to its conclusion and remarks and uh, uh, the expert group of telecommunication ICT indicators has agreed on new indicators to be collected started from 2015 concerning machine to machine subscriptions, LTE coverage, separate fixed broadband subscription data for organizations and indicators on bundled telecommunication services. In the addition, uh, the list of ITQ, ITU indicators from administrative data sources has been revised so that the relevant indicators are kept, but the data reporting burden is reduced. We can conclude by endorsing the outcome of the ACTI and uh, its proposals for future work. Uh, the example of Romania shows that bundle telecommunication services are becoming more and more important and that statistics to monitor them are necessary and feasible to collect from operators. ECT has identified a series of relevant measurements, uh, measurement areas that require future discussion, including M-banking statistics, 
On this topic, the presentation of uh, Mr. Ojak uh, shows that um, banking presents a big development opportunity and that efforts to monitor the services are on the way and we will be key for unlocking the potential of mobile financial, financial services. ACT also <coughs> proposes to explore additional sources for administrative data such as mobile operators, call detail records. Uh, Mr. Salovia has uh, presented some concrete examples on how anonymized raw location data can serve to complement official statistics. This is a realistic first step towards making full use of big data source sources. As discussed in yesterday's panel on big data for development and the future of ICT measurement. Honorable ministers, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our session is coming to close and I hand over the floor back to the chair. Thank you, Mr. Rati. Thank you to panelists. It was a very interesting session, that's why that, uh, there was so many questions. But we we have late and delay for more than 25 minutes. Now we have a coffee break for half an hour. Okay. But I think that we, mm, I would like to ask you to return back to the room at 11.15 to continue our session. Thank you again and see you later.